That's a whole lot of love, ain't trying to waste it. Like we be running them out and never make it. That's just too bitter for words, don't want to taste it. That's just too bitter for words, don't want to face it. Hey Faith Gang and welcome back to my channel. As you guys saw in the previous video, my sister washed, conditioned, trimmed my dead ends, and blow dried my hair to prepare my hair for braiding my foundation down to get my goddess locks installed. Right now my sister is sectioning the back part of my hair so she has a little section of my hair to work with and after she's done parting the back section of my hair, she puts the top section of my hair into a small bun and uses a clip to tuck it away. Right now my sister is using a rat tail comb to section off a small piece of my hair and she applies the green eco solid gel olive oil onto that small section of my hair before she braids it down. After my sister applies the green eco solid gel olive oil onto the small piece of my hair she braids it down and does that all throughout my hair. My sister finished braiding that small back section of my hair off camera and she used a needle and thread to sew down the back section of my hair so it can lay nice and flat. And right here I'm showing you guys how my sister takes her time to make sure the foundation is really nice and flat and neat by making sure that the braid is nice and small and stays in line with the previous braid. And after she braids the braid she's on all the way down, she moves on to the next row. She uses the same method as she moves on to the next row by using a rat tail comb to part the section of my hair to make sure it's nice and neat. And she uses the Eco Styler Gel Green Olive Oil onto my scalp so that my scalp is nice and moisturized instead of dry. And she braids that section all the way down and she opens up the previous braid and braids those two braids together. And she does that same process all throughout my hair. She uses a rat tail comb to section off a small piece of my hair. And she uses the Eco Solid Gel Green Olive Oil onto my scalp so that the braid is nice and neat and moisturized. And she combines the braids as she moves along to keep the foundation nice and flat. And the hair that she's not using, she puts it in a small bun and uses a clip to tuck it away. Not tuck it away, but put it to the side so it's not in her way. I actually really enjoy watching my sister braid my foundation down because I actually see how neat she does it so that my hair lasts longer. My sister is really creative of how she keeps my foundation nice and flat. That braid that you guys see sticking out, she uses a crochet needle to make sure that she wraps the braid around itself. And she forms almost like a square kind of like. And she wraps it around each other and puts it underneath the other braids and uses a crochet needle to put it underneath the other section so that my foundation can lay nice and flat. So you guys, this video is not a tutorial, so for the remainder of my sister braiding my hair for my foundation, I'm going to let you guys finish watching the process, and I'll come back when she starts to install the goddess size into my hair. In this video, I am also collabed with my sister. She is actually a cosmetologist in Nashville, Tennessee, and her link to her channel will be in my description box down below. My sister's YouTube channel is called K Dolce Cafure. If you click on the link in my description box, you will be able to go to her page and actually see how my sister did my foundation for my goddess locks and installed the goddess faux locks into my hair. You can go to her page and watch the video from a stylist point of view and she can give you all the tips and tricks on how she did my foundation. As well as how she used a crochet needle to make sure that my foundation was nice and flat 
and she can explain how she installed the goddess faux locks after she finished braiding my foundation down. As you guys can see, my sister is finally done braiding all my hair down. And y'all, look at how neat and flat my hair looks. Like, it is really on my scalp for real. But after she finished braiding the small braid that she did that's sticking out, she uses a needle and thread to wrap my braid around itself so it could form like a nice like circle light. And then she uses the needle and thread to sew the hair in place similar to how a foundation would be if you were getting a sew-in installed but she is still using that same technique somewhat just so that my hair can lay nice and flat and when she uses the crochet needle to put the goddess locks in you won't see any braids sticking out especially in that area since my hair is somewhat thick once she's done sewing down all my hair she ties it and clips the thread so it's nice and flat. And y'all, when she finished like braiding my hair all the way down, it felt like I didn't have no hair on my head because it was that secure. And it was a little tight if you guys could see like right here, it was hurting me when she was trying to um put the crochet needle through my hair to latch on the goddess locks. But I feel like it was all worth it because at the end I had a bomb hairstyle. And in a few minutes I'm going to give you guys a close up to how she actually does it. She puts the crochet needle underneath 
my hair underneath the braid and she latches on the goddess lock onto the crochet needle as you guys can see and she pulls it through the loop and then she makes sure it's nice and secure on my scalp. I'm showing you guys in real time how she actually does this. So near my edges, she wiggles it underneath the braid and she latches the loop on the goddess lock underneath my scalp and she clips it on top of the goddess lock and she pulls it through the loop. I'm going to let you guys watch it one more time. And she basically continues that same process all throughout my hair. She puts the crochet needle underneath the braid. She latches the loop onto the top of the crochet needle. And then she puts the remainder of the crochet needle on the goddess lock. And then she pulls it through the loop so that way it's nice and secure on my scalp. So I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of the process. And I will show you guys when she's finally finished. So my sister is finally done with my hair, y'all. So I just want to say that I really love this style because it's a nice protective style that you can have access to your scalp to moisturize it as well as allowing your hair to have some time to breathe. And I also love the length of these guys' socks too because it's nice and long and I was feeling myself too much right here. 